gonna give you guys a, I'm gonna show you what's the, what's the what's the power in this book is. Right? And I said I'm gonna show you why you should give it a study. Right? How you pronounce the letter hey? How we been taught? Let's keep it on it. Ha. Uh -huh. Right? Well, I'm gonna show you that's error. So if that's error, right, and if we pronounce an aha as a ha, then the name can't be Yahweh, Yahweh, or not. But we say it, right? We say it. If you notice, we say certain names, right? But we, we don't, I'm not gonna put this on, you know, I'm not gonna tell you the name or anything like that. It's something you guys are gonna sit down and learn where the cameras are not rolling. But what I will show you, just to pick your brain a little bit, is about the letter E. And I'm going to show you the letter E is, is your letter H. So H today. That's your letter H. So what sound does the E make? Eh. Right? So if I said the letter H makes a sound eh, I mean I got to prove it. Right? Well, let me show you something. What letter does the... Uh, we have we use the letter C. What letter does it have? Huh. But uh, we see a cat, right? We don't go around saying sat. Give it a sound, Elder. The two sounds. Give it. Yes. Yes. Right. Right. So we don't go around it's around and say sat. Trying to kill some time while you're here. Right? All right. Very good. That's, that's your English. Well, I'm gonna show you what they did with the letter H. They said, "Huh?" They said the Jewish, because that's not even 100 years old what they done. You guys remember the second documentary and Hashua showed the coin to one of the brothers here, right? You guys remember that? And he said, "Pronounce that." And the brother was having difficulty. See now this. You see this coin here? Let's get that coin. Put it, put it down. You see, now that so coin there. Yeah. Remember my family, his name. They called him Rabbi Aaron Ford. You see, now this is the guy. You see, you see the date on that? What's the deal there, brother? 1927. You see. So my family was one, my family member was one of the first people that came up to visit here in Israel in 1927. And what you see on there, brother? You see what? Well, you see Arabic? You see Arabic, English, Hebrew. And Hebrew, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you know English mm -hmm. and you know Hebrew, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now go through that letter per letter. I want, you, I want this brother to show you something here. What, you, you see the P? I see the P and the P right there. You see the L? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see the Sheen, the S? Mm -hmm. You see the T, the top? Mm -hmm. You see the U, the I? Mm -hmm. you, see the, you, you, see the, you see the noon? Mm -hmm. You see the noon right yeah, there, right? Yeah, yeah. What's, what's that letter at the end? The letter at the end? Yeah. The, the hay? Yeah, the hay. Mm -hmm. And what they got the hay for? They got the hay for the E. A uh, E, not the H. Mm -hmm. They got the hay for the E. A uh, E, not the H. Mm -hmm. They got the hay for the E. A uh, E, not the H. Mm -hmm. They got the hay for the E. A uh, E, not the H. The letter E, I'm going to have you read that. E is the fifth letter in the alphabet and is directly derived from the fifth letter of the proto sinaitic uh -huh. alphabet. Read. The He. So it says the He. The E is the He. How do y'all pronounce hey go? They say ha, ha, right? So now we already saying something is wrong. It should be eh. But let's get a little bit of information in there. The letter he originates from the following proto sinaitic pictogram. Uh, pictogram. So the pictogram, right? So it means it comes from the pictogram after. When you see the most high name, the first letter you see is this, right? Which is the man prostrate. And then you see this. 
Okay. So here it's showing you just some of the signs, some of the way it was made. See it up here? Everybody see that? It's a man. Do your arms like this. Right. So this is the letter head. Now, what I'm going to show you is that what happens is this part of the letter, of the pictogram, disappears. And what you have is if I was to shape this brother like this, it would be one letter. Give me an E. Keep reading. Which declined into or which declines into or and even into. Now this information somebody wrote and they got from my brother. They was trying to figure some things out, but they got from my brother. Right here. Breath, here. breath and a man at prayer. So this the E symbolized a breath and a man at prayer. So if you hit somebody, he won't say, ha, ah. he goes, ah. right? Ah. Hit him. Go ahead. The variants of this pictogram all represent a man at prayer, standing, sitting, or walking. Read. His arms raise heavenward. Prayer is translated by an, by an invocation whose melody becomes the natural sound of breath and breathing. Read. Yeah. Hence the name of the letter, He. Yeah. Yeah. All right, keep going. Now remember, today we call this letter what? Uh -huh. e. e. From Proto-Sinetic to Hebrew and Phoenician. Now hold on. So now, what has changed hasn't been the sound of the letter, it's been the what? Meaning. The shape. The shape. The shape of the right, letter right, has changed right. throughout yeah, centuries. Yeah. So that's like if I take everybody and, and we drew any letter, we drew a letter E. Everybody E, if I give me an E, everybody drew an E, fold it up. And I put every E on the board, what's gonna be the difference? Everybody E is gonna be different. Right? So we send this half for the people, and you go to China, and this table, they go somewhere in Africa, and this table, they go somewhere in South America, and this other, and the rest of us, we go to North Pole, and we give us a hundred years later, and everybody teaching our own letters, what's gonna to happen to these particular places. Everybody gonna draw the E different. But what's gonna, what's not gonna change? What's up? Read. The letter H involved in the same way that was explained earlier. This is by iconic reduction, switching over the reversing the direction of the script. Right. So scripts, meaning that people going to write, we write, how we write in the Western world? Right to right. right. How they write in the Eastern world? Right to right. left. How they write in China? Right to left. Right. 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 Change. Go ahead, read. Thus the man at prayer retains the essential meaning of his shape. The arms raise heavenward, imploring or praising. Read. The lower part of the body is no longer indicated. The form. So now they say what happened is this. They just snatched the body away. Now we're just using the head as. Right. And now it just stays this way. It just becomes this. Just a letter head. Sound hasn't changed. But the shape of the letter has. Go ahead, read. Then the head disappears as well. Read. Which forms the E. Forms the what letter? B. E. In, the, in the 10th century BCE, Come on. Phoenician script. So who was the Phoenicians? Who was the, who was the Phoenician? Who was us? The Phoenicians was us. Go ahead. The Phoenician script had already shifted to the left. And this is where the ancient for, uh, form of Hebrew writing, known as Ketav, uh -huh. Ibri, originates. Ibri originates. Ibri is another word for Hebrew. Go ahead. 
and three lines for the arms and head are still clearly recognizable. So now it sits to the left, right? Just a little bit. Remember, it don't have the body. So you just have this, this, and this. Go ahead. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, appears, blah, 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 however. however, an additional line appears at the bottom of the letter extending the vertical one, producing the following shape. See that? Now line is thin, because it switches. Everybody, throughout centuries, things change. But what has not changed? Sound. Sound. Read. Then the hay leans to the left. In later centuries, the lower lines tended to become detached, especially in Phoenician and Aramaic. Read. Wait a minute. In Aramaic which we read in these books now. Keep going, read. To produce the shapes, I don't know if y'all can see that, but in the 8th century BCE, there is a development that changes the letter from the original to the ancestor of the classic Hebrew. So now it went from what we know as this to what we call today Hebrew. You we, we get your book on here? It's called, we got Aramaic, Oh, they call biblical Hebrew. All right, everybody know that, what that is. Go ahead, read. Uh, and to this square writing of today. Who got a, who got who got some Hebrew on them? Like what we call what they call Hebrew, which is actually a man. Anybody? Uh, oh, what we see in the, what we see around what they wearing. Yeah, what they writing, yeah. writing in. Modern. Right. Modern, modern Hebrew. Go ahead. It's on that, it's on that thing there. Turn that right. Look. what we see here. That's what you got. That's what we got now. Go ahead, Reed. It's getting a little interesting, right? Oh. Now, Hebrew has retained the classic form of the hay. The major change occurred during the first temple period between the 8th and 7th century BCE. Read. The top bar was elongated to the right. Sure. Now you see, as today, during that time, did the sound change? No. 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 It didn't change. Go ahead. From Hebrew and Phoenician to Greek. To what? From Hebrew and Phoenician to Greek. To Greek. Now watch this, it can get even deeper. Greek, and we're dealing with the letter E. Now, what do we have new in the alphabet? The small letter. The small alphabet. They totally different from the original Greek alphabets, right? Do the sound change? No. The small E looks totally different from a big E, right? But we still pronounce the small, the small E as what? Eh. Hey. Still the E. Attention, what's going on here? Read. In the oldest known Greek inscriptions, which date from the 8th century BCE, the hay becomes epsilon, but retains exactly the same shape. <clears throat> Wait a minute. The hay is still calling the letter E hay. Read. The hay becomes an epsilon, but retains exactly the same shape as in ancient Hebrew and Phoenician. Read. But a Greek writing, a baustrophed, baustrophed, Read. that is to say one line going from right to left. So it still look like this. It was still looking like this. This is a little bit different. It was still looking like this, the letter A. It was still looking like this when the Greeks got a hold of it. And it wasn't totally what we consider E yet because it still had the elongated line. Right? Go ahead. This is to say one line going from right to left and the next in the reverse direction. Read. Would also turn the hey epsilon into the shape here. Shape here. Same shape. It's just, it's just shifted. It's just been shifting. Here, 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 here. Draw like this, this way. We write it like this. That's all it's been doing. Right? We just write it from this way. Now we're going to start this way. Oh, we write it from this way and this way. Group. Time. Read. This shape then stabilized. Is what? It's this shape then stabilized. So what does stabilize mean? 
stop changing. It's stop changing. changing. Stop. And who's doing this? This is the Greeks. Today we have our what? Greek? Greek alphabet. Alphabet. Read. This shape then stabilized in the 5th century BCE into its classic form by losing the lower line. Read. Right here. So now, they don't, by this time, they don't switch it to what we know as the letter E. But today, right, we pronounce the he as what? Huh. Huh. So who's done, who's done that? Who did that? One of the Grecians. The Grecians are pronouncing this E. That's why you say E, E, E. That's why you learn that. It wasn't the British. The British are the Greeks. Romans. Who did it? Who came here and brought out what we call Jew Hebrew? <laughs> Jewish people. What year did they come in the land? 48. When did your Zondervan get published? 67. That's how long it's been. It ain't been 100 years. Classic Hebrew. It'll change the whole thing game up. You see what I'm saying? So that word, the word pronunciation of the heart, it ain't even been 100 years. So that's why we say you speak more Hebrew, right? You speak more Hebrew than you than these people here now, right? So I always use this, these two things as an example, two words. What do you call? What do we call? Where's, where's, uh, what do we call? Brothers, no. What do we call our Jamaican brothers with dreads? Rasta. Rasta. What do we call them short? Ross. What else? Ross. 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 So what do Ross mean? Head. 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 So now when you hear the word Ross, it means head. So when you hear the word Rasta, listen up, because I was ignorant too. Rasta, when he said we are the Rastas, they're only saying that we are the head man of the earth. You are the priest of the earth. Understand. So we all Oh, you the rise. It means you're the head of the earth. Who got a Hebrew? Who got a concordance? Don't believe me? Look it up. If you don't believe me, look it up. Ras. Well, you got to remember, the Jewish people put Rash. 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 Yeah. Rash. Rash. Yeah. Oh, oh, R O S H. Oh, yeah, so it really means head because the pictograph is a head. So they said we are the head. We are the head of the earth. Oh, and, and are we not the head of the earth? Are we not the priests of the earth? We're supposed to be. You see what I'm saying? Another word, if you don't believe me, what do women wear on their face? Mascara. Mascara. But what is the number one selling of it? Avon. What? Avon. Avon. Avon is a Hebrew word. It means sin. Iniquity. <laughs> so when you women, oh. get this on camera, when you women putting on your Avon, you're putting it on iniquity. You're putting on sin. Wow. You're beautifying yourself with sin. I'm going to stop using Avon then. Yeah. <laughs> and that goes for all name brands. But the most high name brand is Avon. The oldest one of the oldest brands. They know what they're That's what I'm saying. They know what they're doing. You're not going to listen. You ain't going to be no Jewish person who putting all these products out and, they, and, know, and call it Avon and know that Avon means sin. And dig this. Did not the Most High separate us from the nations? Where did Mango come from? Came from the fallen ones. He separated us from that. Man was picking on Mango. That's why you see a lot of these Hebrews, I mean these Egyptologists, one of the one broke with the praying, looking silly as heck, putting on makeup and all that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, he's going back to his, he might be very well Egyptian. You understand? So what I'm saying, the most I separated us because we put on some of the attributes of the Egyptians. No different than you put on attributes of your captivity. So that's it. I was hoping you'd be here by this time. I think this film coming right on time. So everything. Now you guys research what I said. Don't believe a damn thing I said. Just research what I said. What I said and show you.
Oh my god. What? So make his can't pronounce H's, bro. So? Look how many H's we have. Damn. Okay. Well, um, may maybe we just give it a try. Alright. Okay. Uh, uh, Perko, you ready? The barn ready. Me go like look cowboy. Hurry up, no? Okay. Nigga, uh, we will definitely hurry up. I'm gonna press record right now. Never hugging the oars. Wow, this should be quick as I ear cut. Let me finish me up. Well, I would let you finish your hook if you were getting your shit right, man. Where your H's at? Where me what? Your, your H's. Stop them one. Finish the sentence. Your man, where are you? Stop playing gear with me. Oh, what do you want me to say? Well, first things first is never hugging hoes. You are saying never hugging hoes. Talk again. It don't make sense. Y'all make me add her. Dude, it's never ugging O's. You are saying never ugging O's. Yeah, idiot. Pass the paper, make me record. Play the beat. Never ugging O's. I'll even watch the guy so me not have no O's. Hey man, I'm gonna be out. I'm not doing this right now. You want to take one chicken break? Yeah, whatever, man. Mm -hmm. Yo, careful. It hot. You mean hot? Eh? Yeah. You meant to say hot. But that me say, you're hot, yo.